go for launch. And there you have it, folks. The launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch. So let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 56 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds. seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition and lift off. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Stage 1 propulsion is now known. Vehicle is pitching in downrange. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 from the Cape at 11.35 a.m. Eastern Time. Power and telemetry nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. We just heard that Falcon 9 is supersonic, which means the vehicle is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q. This is the point at which the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stress as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Just about, chill has started. We're now just about one minute away from a series of events. Those are MECO, Stage SEP, SES-1, and fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin M1D engines on the first stage will shut down. Stage separation is when the first and second stages will separate from each other. And SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we light that single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Following those events is fairing separation, which is when the two fairing halves will separate and fall away from the second stage. So let's keep an eye out for those events coming up shortly. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back startup. There we go, folks. We just had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and MBAC startup. Fairing separation confirmed. And there go those two fairing halves falling away from the second stage. Both of the fairing halves that are flying on today's mission are flight proven. One half is flying for the seventh time today, and the other is flying for the tenth time. For those of you following along, this is actually the first tenth flight of a fairing half, and we will be attempting to recover both of those halves on our recovery vessel, Bob. As a reminder, on the left side of your screen is the Falcon 9 first stage, and on the right is the MBAC engine on our second stage, carrying the Starlink satellites to their desired orbit. You can see the speed of the first stage is decreasing as it reaches the apogee of its trajectory, while the second stage continues to accelerate towards orbit. Both vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. Great news there. Stage 1 and Stage 2 are both following nominal trajectories. The first stage currently on its way back down towards Earth, heading for a landing on the drone ship. Just read the instructions.
AMVAC is continuing its burn, which should last another four and a half minutes or so. For those of you just joining us, we did have an on-time liftoff at 11.35 a.m. Eastern Time from Space Launch Complex 40. Today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 43rd launch of the year and 242nd Falcon 9 mission to date. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Both vehicles continue to follow a nominal trajectory. Good news there, both vehicles continuing to follow a nominal trajectory. You can see the first stage is now accelerating down towards Earth. And the MBAC engine continuing to accelerate our satellites into orbit.